are prepared to begin. Perfect. It is 5.03 p.m. I'm calling to order this regular business meeting of the Newmarket School Board. And we'll begin this meeting as we do for our student rep, Lila, Li Lila. I got it wrong. I'll be better to lead us in that. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Thank you. We will open the floor to public comment. We don't have a very large crowd tonight, so I'm not anticipating a lot. Um, with the board's pleasure, we'll go ahead and close public comment at 5.05. Um, Susan, do we want to go through the special meeting timeline? Sure. As, as our agenda has. Well, do, you have a, do you have an agenda today? I do not. Well, you can have my packet. Yeah, I have an extra packet. Okay. So at the last board meeting, um, when uh, our business manager, Jenna Mellon, gave a report, she um, explained that uh, the adequacy aid had been set by the state and that uh, we um, are getting more money than we had anticipated that we would. And the amount was $498,254.72. It's at the very bottom of the number here. So it's four. four uh, 400 and $498,254.72 more in aid than we had anticipated. Um, but in order to be able to access that, we have to go through a process. So uh, we had asked, been asked to reach out to council and then come up with what would that timeline look like uh, to access that. And as Jana said, this would, this would if we, if we do, we need to consider just one-time money. This isn't money that's coming back over and over and over again. This is, you know, a one-time allotment. Um, and so this is what that timeline would look like. It's, it's abbreviated. Um, and so if it's the board's pleasure and you want us to proceed, the next step would be uh, that I would meet with uh, the leadership team and we would come back with a recommendation for uh, the things that have come up since our budget was adopted last year that are current needs that we have that are unfunded for the board to consider. If, um, and that would need to take place at our next board meeting on the 16th. We met with um, the budget committee on Monday and let them know, you know, that this might be forthcoming. I also, after the last meeting, sent them a note when I sent the financial statements to them, I sent them a note letting them know that uh, this is something that may, may be coming their way. So they were aware of that. Um, and uh, we, we talked to, again to them about it on Monday evening. So that would be the next step. And that happened, their next meeting happens to be on the 27th. So it fits nicely in our timeline. So you can write September the 27th would be when we would meet with the budget committee to consider they don't um, actually vote on it. It's just, uh, you know, we explain to them what it is that uh, the board, um, you know, would like to move forward. Um, and then I think the process from there, the dates that uh, Jana developed based on, um, you know, the major milestones identified by our uh, legal counsel would fall into place after that. So the budget hearing would then have to be on the 7th. Um, and then on the 14th, we would need to post the notice. Uh, the school board public hearing would be on the 22nd of October. Uh, we'd publish a notice in the newspaper on the 29th, along with the warrant. And then the meeting would take place on Saturday, um, November the 6th. Now, Susan, one question I had is when we talked about meeting, are we talking about a paper vote meeting or an in-person people meeting? Um, I recall that they said we'd follow the same process likely that occurred last year. Um, but I can double check on okay. that for the next meeting just to okay. make sure if the board, you know, right. wishes to pursue this, I just, I'm, you know, I'm happy to get all those particulars and we can go over um, exactly how that process would work. My initial thought is, and, you know, you guys can tell me if I'm off base, is that it would be helpful for me to see where this money would go and what it would allow us to do before I decide um, 
you know, whether this is something believe or not. Um, it seems I like agree. everyone seems to agree with that. So Susan, can you proceed with getting us, getting with the administrative team as you suggested to come up with those ideas for the next meeting? Yeah, okay. yeah, we, we have ideas know, kind already. of stockpiled, yes. not because of this, but because um, the budget process is so early here in New Market. Um, that you know, right now we're supposed to be developing a budget for next year yep. when we haven't even implemented the educational plan for this year. Yep. So uh, it's kind of a little um, challenging, you know, when you're doing it so early um, to be able to capture everything you could need in a given year. So what happens is as we go along, we just kind of, you know, make note of, of things that you know we weren't able to, and usually. Um, we do that because if a grant opportunity presents itself, we kind of have, you know, shovel-ready ideas. Right. Sure. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, in this case, we certainly do, and we know that we had discussed uh, some facility needs um, that, uh, uh, you know, like electricity, uh, upgrading the electricity right. at the elementary school. We ran into a real problem with that this year um, in real time. Um, and windows and so there's there are a list of those right. we know the courtyard isn't done um, you know a list of things of needs um, that, that we can certainly bring forward and we'll do so at the next meeting and I just assume that you were going to just base something on I mean I can't imagine you'd bring a grade book yet so we um, until the the election the special meeting we'd probably do the gym the gym yes, right. Right. those are available mm -hmm. right I well if we <coughs> follow the process that was approved for this year, that's not the process we would follow, oh, but I will confirm that, meeting. right? Yeah. It's uh, yeah, my understanding, but I will I will confirm um, that you know how that works. But my I, I recall reading um, okay. the attorney's uh, advice on this, and and I recall reading that we would follow the same process that we used this this year when we went through the budget deliberation, where we'd set the date. People would, you know, we'd have a little meeting like this. Um, people would send them in. Right. No well, set of questions if you actually vote in the special meeting. So let me, let me just, yeah. That's yeah. The I just want to make sure you're through them. We I'll could kind of estimate the cost. Like if we have to have, <clears throat> obviously it would never be the same cost as what we'd be spending, but it would be worth yep. knowing if there would be a significant cost to. Yeah. Well. For resources. Yeah. Yeah. And we could use these resources to cover those costs yeah. without having to yeah. great you know that would be something you could appropriate it's exciting to be able to get um some of other projects um off the ground that maybe would have had to wait two or three years and have to come out of taxpayers and mm -hmm. come out pockets. of taxpayers yeah. pockets yeah. you're right no this is this is a, a great opportunity for us to see what we can do with this and I think one of the benefits that came up in the last meeting from the savings that we saw from Jana's report, you know, your team is constantly looking for ways to find grants and find money and do things, and I appreciate that greatly. Moving on to action items, um, just so the public knows, the board just received their the, the minutes from the last couple of meetings at a little bit before this meeting, and I would like to ask if the board would allow me to push those off to the next meeting. Yes, please. please. Yeah, sorry about that. We've been all running around like little chickens this week. <laughs> you know, yeah, no, maybe next uh, year when we're setting our our uh, meeting schedule, doing it uh, right smack in the middle of uh, school opening probably was made it really really challenging to. No, we appreciate it. We know uh, that. Yeah, that yeah, so, yeah. We were just. Uh, um, does anyone have the manifest? I don't think so. So we will skip that part. Um, we will defer the um, wage rate for the custodial personnel until we review it in non-public session after the meeting. So we'll hold off on that. The next thing is to accept a donation from an anonymous community member who generously donated four backpacks with some school supplies to elementary school children. That's I seek great. a motion to approve that generous donation. I approve that generous donation. We have a motion from Ms. Durant. We need a second for that I'll motion. Second that. A second from... Ms. McKinney, any more discussion on that item? Hearing none, we'll move to the vote. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Perfect. The next thing is the coaching appointments for fall. So we have uh, two more coaches. Um, 
that uh, we've appointed. One, uh, Jared Smith for boys junior high soccer Smart. and Hannah Wood, oh. assistant coach for the girls JV soccer team. I believe Heather just said it's Smart. Jared's last name is Smart. Oh, how about that? Okay, so those are the two um, that we appointed for the fall season since our last meeting. I seek a motion to confirm the coaching appointments for the fall. So moved. We have a motion from Mr. Swanson with a second from Ms. McKinney. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll move to the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 It's approved unanimously. So we're making a little progress um, with some more additional contracts received. Two of them I mentioned uh, last um, uh, so I mentioned them verbally, uh, but uh, also new to the list is Jessica Giarato, and she would be filling the one-year position uh, for the full-time sub at the elementary. So that means that our elementary school um, professional staff roster is uh, filled. So we're so woo! <laughs> still got a couple more <laughs> hanging out there for the junior senior high school, but um, again, we're still... We're doing the best we can. I reposted the junior senior high school subs um, two days ago so that it now reads we're looking for one uh, person with a, a math or a science certification and one for an English or social studies certification right. to see if that because there's really subject area certifications as opposed to elementary education and so I'm, I'm hoping maybe that will catch somebody's eye because if they're doing searches online um, they would be searching for something in their certification area so we're going to try this and see if that doesn't uh, net us a few applicants so we're still um, of course missing the middle school um, or junior senior high school guidance counselor and we're still advertising and uh, I understand we did get one application in on that I don't know if it was a qualified person or or not but at this point you know we might just want to go with an interim this late in the season if we can find even that so that's where we're at on hiring um, forgive me I, I know you mentioned this yesterday this uh, last meeting um, the counselor though that did resign is she released or is she still working um, she the teachers contract states that which I didn't know that even the board policy says that they're not to be released. The teacher's contract actually says that after 30 days um, that they are released. Okay. So okay. it's something that um, I wasn't aware of, and I don't know if anybody else knew that, I, I, um, but it was brought to my attention. So in fact, she, she had, we were obligated to okay. release her. And you said after that. 30 days of receipt of their um, letter of resignation. And you said that um, the assistant to the principal kind of filling in. Well, I'm, I'm saying we're still actively oh, okay. trying to fill the position, but if, if worse comes to worse, at least that person has guidance okay. background. Um, if we have to reassign her, um, that would be unfortunate, but um, programmatically, but we all have to, you know, make these shifts. Um, that we don't like to make <laughs> when we have to do so so yeah so she does have she does she was the she came to us from uh, Litchfield um, and her position there was director of guidance services at the secondary at the high school so um, at least we have you know like a teeny little bandwidth there that we otherwise wouldn't have had but it just will compromise her ability to launch an ELO program um, yeah potentially but I'm an optimist yeah. <laughs> we're gonna keep advertising <laughs> Thank you yes yeah I seek a motion to confirm the appointments of professional staff hired since the last meeting Second. we have a motion for Ms. McKinney and a second for Mr. Swanson all those in favor say aye aye, aye. Um, I would like I seek a motion to approve the memorandum of agreement with the new market teachers union that we discussed in non-meeting before this meeting so moved Second. Do you have a motion from Ms. McKinney and a second from Mr. Ranch? All those in favor say aye. 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 It's approved. 
The next thing is, I seek a motion to enter non-public session under RSA 91A32, and it says A and C on the agenda. It should say A, C, and E. So. A second, sorry. We have a motion for Mr. Swanson and a second for Ms. McKinney, and we will enter non-public session at 519 p.m. Thanks, Thanks Kelly. Kelly. Thank you, everyone. Woo! <laughs>